to die and mob for mob. And happy mob, we are going to be multiplying fractions with an area of our doing. Area of First of all, we'll use number one to figure out what the product is. So, first we'll look at the columns. There's one, two, three, four columns. So, now, how many of them are fully shaded? One, two, three. This one's not fully shaded because only one of the parts is. So it would be three fourths for the columns. Now, let's figure out this side. So, there are one, two, three, four rows. One of them is fully shaded. So, it would be one fourth. The, shape, the overlapping area would be the answer. So three sixteenths. Now we'll multiply if we got it right, it's three sixteenths. Now in number two we are also going to be using the model to find the product. So, the, we're going to look at the columns first. Out of this, five ninths are shaded. If we look at the columns. So, it would be five ninths times. Now, we must look at the rows. There are three rows, and the, and the shaded rows is one third. So, it's five ninths times one third. Now we know what we're multiplying. The shaded, the shaded number represents the answer. So, we, so we came this out of all this. One, two, three, four, five. In twenty sevenths. So the answer would be five twenty sevenths. Let's do this problem. There are one, two, three, four, five columns. So, and three of them are shaded. So, they throw fifths. Now, let's look at the rows. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Two of them are shaded, so it would be two sevenths. One, two, three, four, five, six out of 35. Now let's multiply to check our work. We got it right, it's 6 35ths. And now looking at number 4, again number 4, we are going to be another user model to find the product. We're going to look at the columns again. And for these yellow ones, two thirds are shaded. So it'd be two thirds times. Now we will look at the rows. One, two, three, four, five, six. Now, which of which of all are shaded green? One, two, three. So it'd be three six times two thirds. Simplified into one half. And now. We will look here, where it overlaps. The overlapping is the answer. So, one, two, three, four, five, six. Now, six. Eighteenths, because there are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. Now we, are, now we know that it is 6 eighteenths. 6 eighteenths is also simplified into 1 third. So 2 thirds times 3 six is 1 third. Now let's do this problem. This is a big one. Now let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Now 
one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten of them are shaded. Ten twelfths. Now for the rows. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Two of them are shaded. Two nines. Now we will multiply. Ten twelfths times two nines. Knives, which is simplified into even more simplified into five twenty sevenths. So the answer is five twenty sevenths, but if you don't want it in simplest form, it's twenty one oh eight. Let's check our work. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Now let's see if the denominator is right. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 times 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 108. Because 9 times 12 is 108. 20, 108 is right. Boy, don't forget to like and subscribe. I'm your Ruby. I'm Martha Ma. And happy Ma.